Brad, I see a lot of people putt and their putting stroke looks short on the backstroke and long on the follow through. And then they come to me and they say, I battle with rhythm, I battle with distance control. Is there a draw that you can give them that'll help them with their rhythm and tempo and with their distance control? Absolutely. And one of my favorite drills to do, and you can do this putting to a hole. Here we have a 12-foot putt. It's up the hill, so you got to give it a little bit of a hit. We've put two tees down in front of the ball, so the ball's going to go through these two tees. Now, when we talk about rhythm, we don't want to see a rapid or sudden change of direction. So this drill makes you take the putter back a little bit longer than you might normally do, so you can have some energy of the putter when it hits the ball. You won't be able to hit the ball as hard as you think you can, but I can still make this ball go 12 feet easily, even though I don't have a long follow through. So the putter will hit the tees, and hopefully goes right in the middle of the hole like that. But what do you think this is gonna help the average player? Well, the, the, the main thing here is that you get top speed at impact. A lot of players I see with a short backstroke and a long follow through, the top speed of the club is really after impact. And that helps, um, that doesn't really help them with their distance control. So I would like to see top speed at impact. In fact, all good putters achieve top speed before impact and then maintain the speed up to impact. Yeah, you said to me it's like a car when you get going the speed limit at 55 or 60 miles an hour. You want to feel that constant, you know, sort of level the whole way through your stroke and especially in the forward swing. One of the things I think is really important about this drill is not so much that you hit the ball into the hole, it's always nice, but that it goes the right distance. I think this is the thing that's really going to have uh, the most effect on a player when they're practicing this drill is can you hit this ball the right distance even though you can't have a follow through. So let's try it one more time. So the, the, the heel and the toe are both hitting the tee at the same time. You like that noise, Marius? I do. Well done.